Your commentator is Lyle Vann. The most effective United States carrier-borne air armada ever sent into action prepares the surprise blow against the powerful Japanese naval base at Truk. Bombers, torpedo planes, and Hellcat fighters stand ready for the takeoff as their 2,000 horsepower engines warm up. The fleet is close to the enemy's secret stronghold now and still undetected. The first flight moves to the attack. The exact number of carriers in this great fleet is a closely guarded naval secret, but an overwhelming force of planes roars into the sky, the finest planes and the greatest flyers in the world. There goes the spearhead of the attack. The defending Japs are stunned by the suddenness of the first blow delivered with crushing force on the heart of the great fortress in mid-Pacific. Like Hitler's Europe, Tojo just forgot to put a ceiling over Truk, and jubilant Navy cameramen take pictures to prove it. Roaring in from the sea, Navy bombers blast Jap planes before they can leave the ground and destroy their runway. The main islands of the Truk Atoll suffer a pulverizing blow before the surprised Japs can organize any defense. Haram Island, headquarters of the Truk naval base, is given a terrific pounding. Hellcats, Avengers, and dauntless dive bombers sweep over in close formation. Wheeling around over the main island, pilots continue the work of destruction by bombing every important part of the great base, a base the Japs have been building up for over 20 years into a fortress considered impregnable. Ground installations, oil and ammunition dumps, flying fields, all are hit again and again. Wherever reconnaissance has shown anything of value to the enemy, Navy bombers place their explosives where they'll do the most good. Every fortified island in the Truk Atoll is given a thorough blasting by a sky armada of overwhelming force that hits the Japs like a bolt from the blue. Jap planes escape from small dispersal fields and make a hopeless stab at ships of our task force. Expecting attack, men and ships are ready. A low-flying Jap torpedo plane meets a curtain of steel from cruisers and destroyers as it attempts to close in. Jap dive bomber tries to break through the barrage. The sky is spotted with bursting shells from massed anti-aircraft guns as they knock down the attacking plane. A direct hit and a flaming end for another Nipponese airman. Somber palls of smoke rise from the sea to mark the doom of Jap planes shot from the sky. Only slight damage is suffered by just one American ship in the Jap's suicidal defense. The task force beats off every threat from the sky and boldly continues to steam close to the shore to await the return of its attacking airmen. Over the Truk Lagoon, trigger-happy Navy airmen have a field day. Few Jap planes are left to annoy them, as torpedo planes, bombers, and fighters come in for the kill. There's a large destroyer, a perfect target. The Navy Hellcat meets a Jap Zero. This exciting story is repeated over and over. The Jap is outclassed, torn asunder. Out of the sky they roar with wing cannon blazing, tearing into ships of every description, 
ships that the hard-pressed Japs can ill afford to lose. Nineteen ships in all are positively sunk, with additional ships probably sent to the bottom. Desperate Japs even take a slow reconnaissance plane into combat. It tries to hide in a cloud. The Zero tangles with another Hellcat. And this is how 200 Jap planes are destroyed, with only 17 planes lost by the Yanks. Slow-moving freighters in the harbor of Truk are helpless. Faster vessels pour on the coal in futile efforts to escape. Here's a Jap destroyer turning sharp at full speed to avoid a bomb. Up in the clouds, another Jap pilot seeks the glory of giving his life for the Emperor. So the Navy accommodates him. plane drives on another vessel trying to get away. Ship after ship is pounded by explosive shells poured into them in fiery streams of destruction. The big Jap destroyer speeds across the lagoon trying to reach the open sea. A transport gets a direct hit. The snake trail below is another destroyer. Right in a cone of fire from another heavily armed plane, a doomed Jap vessel takes it. The last Jap plane to stay in the air over Truk is looking for trouble. Our intrepid airmen continue the element of surprise and advantage. They deliver the fatal knockout as the two-day assault on Truk nears an end. that zero again, soon to be represented by another Jap flag painted on the fuselage of a Navy Hellcat. The historic raid on the Jap Pearl Harbor writes finish to Truk as a mid-Pacific enemy base, a crushing defeat so successful that high-ranking Jap officers are ousted by the Nippon High Command. Brook Lagoon, cluttered with bombed and battered hooks, is in itself full proof that never again can the Jap Navy ride at anchor here in safety. The order is heard, return to carriers. Just average American boys, taught to fly, taught to fight, taught to win. One wheel missing, but it's a perfect landing The wounded are hurriedly taken to the sick bay below, where they receive instant attention. Heroes who will live to fight again. Other planes come through showing the scars of enemy shell fire. This great victory is substantial payment on account for the Jap's sneak attack on Pearl Harbor. The nation thrills to the news that the Yanks smash troops. Thank you.